guys, welcome to another Urban Viking Ale review. Um, today we're going to be doing the last of the Brew Good of Ears, and this is their New England IPA, which comes in at 4.1. That's quite low for a New England IPA. I've seen, a, I haven't really, I'm not very experienced in this style. I have seen it before, obviously, uh, the last couple of years while I've had my stroke, I've, I've sort of still been keeping an eye on the on the beer scene and what sort of stuff's available. And I've always seen New England IPAs being uh, sort of bandied around. So, but I'm assuming, is, is it a new style? I don't know. Maybe it's been around for a long time, but, but I've always thought they were quite big sort of beers, like about six or 7%. So yeah, it's strange seeing one for 4.2. Um, yeah. So like Brugada, it says full bodied with a sessionable uh, ABV, Citra and Mosaic hops. Make for a light and fruity New England style IPA with pineapple, citrus, and low bitterness. Mm. Has this got any pineapple in it before I review it? Because I've done that last time and it. No, it hasn't. It's all hops. Okay. Oh, it's got oats as well. Water, barley, oats, hops, and yeast. Okay. I'm looking forward to this one. Um, yeah, 4.1%. So, not another. Massive ABV, but a nice sessionable ABV. You know, you're not going to get silly by drinking a few of these. Okay, let's get this one poured. Yeah, I'm definitely impressed with this um, four pack. I think it's really good. So, there we go. Um, very similar to the other ones, quite murky. A bit of a bigger head on this one than the others. Um, nice carbonation. I really need to get a decent camera and stuff like that because my stuff is so amateur. It's unbelievable. I mean, no wonder I only get about three or four views every video. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. Sorry, I went off track there. Yeah, so it, it looks um, quite murky. Let's give it a nose. Wow. That is really hoppy. You wouldn't think that was like four percent or something. You think it was way more. Now they've read. Now that I've read the descriptives, I can smell pineapple straight away. And that must be just coming from a hop. It's amazing, isn't it? What hops can do. What what sort of smells you can get. That's always fascinated me since I uh, started doing um, beer reviewing on YouTube. The different hops. There's one I really like. I think it's called Matsuka or something like that. That's a really nice hop, and also Willamette. That's a like a British hop. Anyway, let's give this a, a go. Oh, sorry, I didn't smell it, was I? Yeah, I'm getting the pineapple, grapefruit. There's also like a. I don't know if you can smell sea salt, but there's like a, a slight sort of sea salty smell as well. It smells really, really, really nice. Uh, let's give it a go. Cheers, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's got that sort of warm taste that I like. I'm not a huge fan of hot, uh, malty beers, but I do like a, a thick taste in beer, even when it's like, you know, like a pale ale or, a, or an IPA, which is very rare. You can't always get that sort of uh, flavour. Um, you tend to go down the malty backbones and get those sort of big, sort of huggy hops, but... That is really nice. Oh, yum. I'm surprised that's just hops. You're definitely getting the, the pineapple, like I, meant, like I said, and it's also said on the can, but you do get pineapple straight away. Um, nice bitterness as well. Lingers, very lingering bitterness as well, um, which is lovely. Just sticks around. Um, but other than that, that's all I'm really getting is like the bitterness and the pineapple. I'm not really getting anything else. Um, I'm not going to pull out descriptors just to fill the video. I'm just going to tell you the truth. If you like fruity beers with a nice sort of boldness and a, and a big flavour, definitely give this a go, the, the um, New England IPA. I can't believe that's 4.1%. And it tastes hoppier than the, the previous one I did, which was, well, it was only a 0.2% more. but 
yeah that's amazing that's really really nice i'm going to give that i'm going to give that a 9 out of 10 for the new england ipa um that's really really good um i'd love to try that on cask I wonder if they do it um i'll have to find out anyway thank you very much for watching and um cheers cheers take care